What is going on? Legendary Bacon here, bringing you another game tutorial. This tutorial is of this war of mine. It's a uh, kind of war survival uh, game, and uh, it, can, it can be quite challenging if, it, if you're new. So I'm going to show you a couple tips for you know getting started. Um, for this, one of the easier starts is Pavel, Bruno, and Marco. So I would suggest giving them a try first. There's a lot of other groups that you can try. Some are much more challenging than others, but uh, this is one I think that's uh, pretty easy, comparatively at least. Um, so a lot of the game comes down to planning out what to build first and scavenging. All right, so we're just loading up here. Uh, as you can see, the game is absolutely beautiful and does a great job of telling the, the other side of the story, the struggle when there's a war. And uh, it, it does a great job of showing how people survive. So when you first load up, I highly recommend scavenging everything you can inside the base. Getting as many items as you can is gonna be absolutely critical. So uh, what I try to do is get as many people digging as possible uh, because that's going to open up new areas. And anywhere where you see a hand, you can have somebody already start looting everything. And just grab it all. It's going to go to your inventory and it's going to help you progress much easier. So on day one, this is one of the most important things you can do is get as much of this looted as possible. You can pick up things like picks and you can start picking locks and that's going to be extremely helpful to progress further. Keep tabs on your digging progress. This, as this bar moves, uh, fills up, uh, it will show your progress. So just keep tabs on your guys as they're digging and I try to keep one guy looting while the other two are digging if possible. This way you can kind of clear as much ground and uh, get as much done as you can. Alright. And you can break open these doors. That's going to make access in the base much easier. Don't worry, it won't uh, you know, limit your defense ability at all. Um, I can actually get him digging down here because the other guys are going to start switching to looting. And it's going to be good to get as much of this cleared in day one as possible. <clears throat> Day two, I like to start doing my building. So uh, putting down the first bed and workshop is uh, very important uh, on day two. Okay, so we're just finishing up our first piles. Uh, so this uh, character, Pavel, can start clearing the top. And then, oh, here we go. We cleared that pile, so Marco can start uh, looting these items. So there's a lot going on. I'm kind of jumping between three characters. It can be a lot to keep up with, but uh, if you can keep the momentum going, you can get most, if not all, of uh, the building looted within the first day. Okay, so we'll get uh, Pavel on this pile here. Marco's running over to the kitchen, and we're starting to clear this pile, so we're progressing pretty good. Okay, we got all that building material. That's going to be super helpful. I'm going to send Marco down to clear this pile. And then there's not going to be too much left to clear, so we should be able to get, I think, all of this done within the first day. You can see the time is changing here. So we're just getting towards noon. We're going to be halfway through the day soon. Um, and uh, time goes quickly, so you want to get as much done as you can. Okay, we're digging down there, digging up here. Things are going good. Okay, and we got into this room now, so we can loot all this. That's perfect. All right, and we're gonna go down here and start looting these areas. So Bruno's gonna be good to do that. Okay. Got that. So we've got a ton of loot already. Things are going really well. And I'm actually going to use Bruno to start building 
uh, the first bed here because I think we're actually making really good time. Okay, Pavel's going to start looting the top floor. All right, so let's make a bed. Um, it doesn't matter where you put things necessarily. I personally like to put the beds uh, down at the bottom here. And then I like to have my production buildings or structures kind of towards the top. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of different ways of doing it. And I don't think there's really any right or wrong answer. I just try to cut down travel time as much as possible. Okay, so we've finished looting all that. Uh, we can see if we have enough resources to build something else. And, you know, we're getting well ahead of the curve here. If we can finish this bed within day one, that's going to put us really far ahead. Okay, let's have a look here. Um, so, I can actually... Um, I can build the metal workshop. I think that's going to be a good idea. So, I'm going to keep... It here because this is kind of my general crafting area okay let's grab all that loot we'll pick this and I think that's the last loot in the building just do a quick scan yeah perfect okay and we got a bed made which is uh, super important uh, this character starts off wounded so I'm gonna get him patched up and this character is slightly sick so I'm going to get him some meds before the day ends. And Pavel's just finishing up our metal working bench. Uh, we can craft ourselves a shovel. Or, yeah, a shovel. It's going to be useful. Okay. So slightly wounded, but he's bandaged. I'm going to get him to sleep for the rest of the day. And Marco's slightly sick, so he might be a good character to leave behind. And Pavel's going to be good for maybe scavenging the first day. Okay, let's see if I can get anything else started as far as building. Uh, we may as well put the radio up. We can put it up here, and then I can put a chair right beside it. Alright, that's looking good. And so he's slightly sick, but we only have one bed, and the day ends, I think, at 8 o'clock, so we're almost near the end of the day anyways, so. Um, is there a chair? Yes. Oh, right here. Yeah. May as well get him to sit. And we finished our radio. We can take a look and listen to the radio to get some news so when you see the uh, radio flashing it's not a, a radio transmission but when it's a solid light then you're you've tuned into uh, one of the radio stations so we just gotta turn the dial until it, it's solid white and then we can get some updates so you can get updates on the weather on the rebel movements and you can see our updates here on the left have saved. So that's really helpful information. All right. So we're just finishing up the day. I'm going to hit the end day button and jump ahead. So during the night is when you do your scavenging. Um, so I'm going to choose to loot this gas station. I think we'll find some interesting uh, things there. So I'm gonna have Bruno sleep in the bed. I'm gonna have, see Marco has a lot of inventory space but he's sick so I'm gonna put him on guard duty and I'm gonna send Pavel out to scavenge even though it would be better to send a, somebody out with higher inventory but uh, uh, Pavel's the only one that's not sick or injured okay now i could send him with a lock pick or a shovel but there's probably going to be so many looting opportunities in day one 
that it's best just to keep as much inventory space open as possible and loot as much as you can. All right. So now we've loaded up into the gas station. We're going to start grabbing everything we can. Okay, those are some good items. Now we're just going to take our time and be careful in case there's any... Sometimes you can run into some different events. You don't want to get any characters, you know, injured or, or killed. <laughs> Would not be good. So we're just going to be cautious here. So it might have been good to bring a shovel uh, in hindsight. So you can see as I run, I'm making more noise. So sometimes it's good to take your time and move quietly. Um, we can see there's a, a barred uh, room here. So we want to get a saw to cut through that. Um, doesn't look like there's any activity. Sometimes you'll get you'll see sound um, if anybody's in the area. So, so far so good. Um, digging with your hands kills a lot of time. So it's much better to bring a shovel if you can. Um, but I like to scout areas ahead of time and determine what tools to bring on the second run. Because usually even with a um, couple piles you can get through them before the, the night ends. And you want to get back before the night ends otherwise you might uh, get injured. <coughs> Alright. So we're almost finished digging here and then we're going to loot these spots. If we run out of space then we'll combine different areas. Uh, different items, I mean, and hopefully we can get through this door. I'm not sure if we can. Okay, so we finished this pile. We're going to loot this area here. And just be careful and quiet. Okay, good. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Looks like we can get down here without any trouble. Oh, there's some sound over to the left, so that's not good. So there's something over there. I don't know if it's a person or sometimes it can be like a rat. Okay, so this is where we got to make some choices. So I'm going to give up the... Actually, coffee beans are pretty good for trading. So I'm going to actually give up the tobacco to get food. That's going to be way more important. I'm going to give up the herbs to get the herbal meds. And I think I'm going to give up the fertilizer at this point because it's it's going to be more useful later. So there we go. So we're going to peek through here, see what that noise is. Looks like it's just a rat. So we're lucky we can start opening this up. Um, I'm going to now I don't have to worry about making too much noise because it doesn't look like there's any threats in this area, but you do want to be cautious as you're looting. Okay, that seems like a pretty good haul. Let's take a look here. All right, tons of food. So I'm gonna give up that. Food is super important early on. Um, I think I'm going to give up this, yeah, the cigarettes. I can come back for those. And I've got lots of ice cubes. Water is good, but I think I'm going to come back for it. So we'll definitely want to come back with a saw to get into that room. Usually if a room requires a saw, it's uh, super important. So you can see there's little bits of story you can encounter. Uh, really cool uh, part of the game. Okay, so we can get here. Alright, some more wood. Wood is super useful early on for some uh, for building. So I, I definitely suggest getting lots of wood and building materials at first. So we'll take all of these really good stack up as much as you can so we're starting to run out of time here so we'll probably look to head out pretty quick but I'm gonna break open this door 
Uh, so when I, oh, uh, there's sounds coming. Uh oh. I need to get out. There's somebody coming below. I gotta get out of here immediately. This is not good. I don't know what all those sounds are. Okay. Um, not sure what's up here, but I need to get out of here pretty quick and carefully. Can I get over there? No, I cannot. Okay. I might just try to run out or sneak if I can. So there's a lot of sounds. Oh, oh it's just two rats. Okay. Guess I'm freaking out for nothing. So I'm just going to run to the exit and just get out of here. So that was a pretty good haul. If you can have a haul like that each night, you're going to really prepare yourself well for survival because it's about surviving multiple days and kind of lasting through. You want to avoid confrontation and combat if possible because you don't want to get your characters injured. But um, that's kind of what the game looks like. I hope that gives you a few basic tips on uh, surviving a little bit better. It's all a lot about uh, inventory management, planning out what you're going to build next, and just surviving each night. So I hope this is a, a good start and uh, helps you get going in the game, and uh, we'll see you next time.